so yeah when you do the calculation you will get um, C60H32 because you can see that this ratio which is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 4 is to 3.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 is 1 is to 16 right so 1 is to 16 and this means that for every 60 carbon atoms there are the, the value of x is equal to 16 so because this is 2x 60 is equal to 2 into 16 uh, sorry when when we have 60 carbon atoms then x is equal to 16 and hence 2x is equal to 32 right 2x is equal to 32 and that's why we have c60 h32 now we are talking about melting and freezing so you are already uh, you already know what these processes are but just like just let's look at the changes happening to the particles so when we heat a solid the particles gain energy right so the particles gain energy so they vibrate faster they vibrate more strongly and so the solid tends to expand and then when you keep heating it further then the energy is enough to break the bonds or the forces of attraction between the solid particles so when the energy is enough to break the bonds then uh, or the intermolecular forces because it can be an ionic compound it can be a covalent compound so it is either bonds break, breaking ionic bonds or it is breaking uh, intermolecular forces so or it's breaking covalent bonds depending on the type of compound so it's um so as we keep heating it it will break the bonds or uh, or the intermolecular forces and as a result the particles will will move apart from each other and they will start sliding over each other forming a liquid so this is called melting and the opposite of melting is freezing so that's when we cool a liquid the particles start losing energy and when they are losing energy they cannot move about so much right so they come very close together and the, the movement is restricted a lot so when we keep cooling it further they start forming bonds between them or uh, there are forces of attraction between them so uh, uh, so we get a solid the particles start vibrating to and fro forming a solid and this this process is called freezing now for a particular substance melting and freezing take place at the same temperature for example ice melts at 0 degree celsius and water freezes at 0 degree celsius so they are called melting or freezing points more commonly melting points then vaporization so vaporization is the process from uh, when we are changing a liquid to a gas so when we heat a liquid what happens is that the particles gain energy and start moving faster now what happens is that at the surface of the liquid uh, the, the the particles have most energy so they start escaping into the atmosphere and this is called evaporation right that only the particles with most energy they are escaping into the atmosphere and this process is called evaporation but when we heat the liquid further there is enough energy to break the bonds or intermolecular forces throughout the liquid right so if there is enough energy to do that then all the particles are drifting away from each other so all of the liquid is forming the gas and therefore uh, this this process is called boiling so now you can see the difference between evaporation and boiling evaporation is only when particles with most energy escape in as a gas and boiling is when all the particles escape as a gas so the temperature at which boiling takes place is called the boiling point and uh, the so there is a term called enthalpy change of vaporization so if you remember in the enthalpy changes playlist we did several different types of enthalpy changes now the enthalpy change of vaporization is the enthalpy change needed to change there is the energy needed to change one mole of liquid to one mole of a gas and uh, this is called the enthalpy change of vaporization now condensation is the exact opposite of boiling so condensation is when uh, you're cooling a gas the particles are losing energy so they not they cannot move about so much now they, so they come together and um, they come together and they start forming bonds with each other and they start sliding over each other so uh, they, they they form a liquid in the process okay so uh, condensation or is uh, yeah as uh, condensation actually is somewhat like uh, evaporation like it takes place at different temperatures but like yeah below a temperature all of the gas is liquid so that's at the boiling point as you know then uh, vapor pressure so 
the thing is that um when you are using a closed container right like yeah,